Hi, my name is Jordan Snyder, and I am a teacher and principal at Collaboratory Prep, and I've been an educator for 12 years. Students right now are feeling a lot of pressure. I think that they're lost, and I think there's a lot of um, a lack of motivation right now. I think one thing that teachers and educators just in general need to do is definitely make learning more fun, more engaging, being able to bring life back into education and helping them to be able to um, use the skills that they have in the classroom and apply it to life even at an early age and seeing how they can use it at home. I think that that really helps too. The Foundation's A to Z pilot was something that was different. It was something that I hadn't seen before and it was something that I knew that my students needed. And um, the characters made, uh, made it just come alive and I knew that my students needed it. The lesson plans, and it's very easy to get to and you can go into your lesson plans and you can see that the units are laid out for you. One of the things that I really liked doing was going to the skills section and being able to pull up specific skills that my students needed, such as phonological awareness. It not only pulls up video lessons that they, that they watch to introduce the lesson, but it also pulls up in uh, lesson plans to go along with them um, different videos, games, and then worksheets that they can do as well. We would use Foundations A to Z. We would start off the lesson as a whole group, and we would then break it off into groups based on abilities. And so students who needed more help, I would work with them on individual skill sets, and that's when I would go into the skill section right here and I would pull up different skills and work with them individually. Now other students who were already finished with their Foundations A to Z lessons, then they could go on to RAS Plus and then they could continue reading. So I would just, I would use Foundations A to Z in just a multiple variety of ways. Some of the things that they really liked were the videos. They love the characters. Zam and Grom are their favorite characters. Um, the games, they love to play the games. Um, you click on some of these games and you can assign the games to different students. Um, the games are really fun. One of the things that they really like to be able to do is one of their lessons was uh, say a word into the microphone and then have it repeat back to them. And it took a little bit for them to be able to get used to that because they hadn't done that before and that helped them to be able to see what those words sounded like or their letters or blends or diagraphs sound like and so they could actually hear themselves saying these words or these blends rather than somebody else saying it they did like the drag and drop games um there was just it was very engaging and it wasn't just just one type of lesson um it just it hit a lot of different types of learning needs so they were able to um, listen to lessons and watch the videos. And um, it was really good for our kinesthetic learners who need to use their hands. And so they would use the drag and drop. And so it was just really good on some multiple, multiple varieties. Some of the students, um, I have three students specifically who really struggled with um, diagraphs such as your SH and CH blends. And uh, we have a couple of different platforms um, that we had been using and they just were not making the connection. And Foundations A to Z really helped them to be able to um, solidify the, the lessons that they were, that they were learning. And by the end of the lessons with foundations A to Z, they were able to be able to tell me the sounds that SH makes and the retention was so much better. But another thing that really meant more to me than even just the academic gains is they looked forward to reading. A lot of my students, they like math a lot more than reading. And so they would get excited when they would see that Foundations A to Z was something that we were going to be doing for that day. And so for my class to be excited about reading, that, that made me happy. 
there is professional development built in all over the place. And it's not just little videos here and there. Um, there's, there's a lot. I have never seen um, a reading platform with this much professional development. So if we pull up one of the lesson plans and it tells you about how long the lesson plan is and it pulls up standards and objectives and um, it goes through, it tells you everything that you'll need. It gives you, provides everything that you'll need. Um, I do, we do, you do. Those are things that teachers need. Um, reteach and enrich. Um, but it also gives you different time limits on the sides as well. So it it's kind of a pacing guide as well. So you can kind of plan your lesson. There is an option to assign um, lessons ahead of time or just by day, which is what I do. And so students are able to work on them by day. So foundations A to Z and RAS Plus, which is what we use, they absolutely complement each other. RAS Plus focuses a lot on your fluency and your reading comprehension and foundations A to Z focuses more on your foundational skills and you really can't have one without the other. And so bringing those two together really helped my students um, be able to actually read the words and which increased their fluency and because they could read the words they were able to understand the questions and so their reading levels increased on RAS Plus because of their foundational skills. I know a woman who works for um, local school and I've already shared with her about the success that I've seen in my first grade classroom and I've let her know that if she's looking for um, just another platform to use, um, go ahead and try Foundations A to Z and I've let her know the specific needs that have been addressed uh, in my classroom and that I've, I've seen just so much success in my classroom and that the motivation for reading and learning to read has improved so much over the last year and they're excited to learn, they're excited to read, and that's one of the reasons why I would definitely recommend it.